Hey guys, it's FIFA out right here, and welcome to episode 6 of Last FIFA 14, and uh, we did promote for Division 7 in the last episode, so we're going to play our first game in that division in the start of this episode, and we come up against a very strong Brazilian side, with in for Maicon, he got Diego Costa and Pato on the top, and then three skillers in Neymar, Bernard and Jadson, so a quite strong side there. But it's me creating most of the chances in the first half. We test out the keeper with Ben Arthur there in the beginning. And then we get on the ball here with Diego Tadelli going past the defender. We take the shot, but unlucky to hit the post. And we couldn't get the goal from the rebound. But in the 38th minute, uh, Ben Arthur and Tadelli linking up together. And we'll make it 1-0 to get into the lead. And when you look at the halftime stats, I was sitting on the chances and the possession. So I think it was deserved that I was into the lead. And I was kind of chasing that two-goal lead as well. Uh, into the second half here, Tazaidi on the ball, making his way into the box, we try and pass it to Pato, but a bad pass, and he shoots it with his left foot instead of the right, and then in the 87th minute, he hits me on a counter attack, and from an almost impossible angle, he scores to make it 1-1, his only shot on target in the game, and he scores an LA goal, and that is kind of the punishment for not getting that second goal, it frustrated me quite a bit to be honest, but that's how it is sometimes, as you can see, uh, I had I didn't create that much in the second half, but still he only had that one shot on target, and it went in, but unfortunately I dropped two points there, and then I went out to pick up a few more players for the substitution side, because uh, a few other players I had listed up from yesterday, they did sell on, I believe it was Distant and... Uh, Diaz and um, and Tardelli they did sell on so uh, I had a few coins I picked up Nyang and Dishilio and I picked up a right wing to right mid modifier and then I'll put all the the Serie A players into the side still not the perfect chemistry because we're missing one player on the center mid to link up with everyone and he is the most expensive player probably it is Hernanes but we'll eventually get around to pick him up but we go into the next game and again we come up against Neymar this time around a very very strong side again uh, but it was a game where I was sitting on the chances once again I had a, have a shot on the post there and then in the 21st minutes Pato cutting in behind the defender he'll jump past another one and then he'll put it into the back of the net to make it 1-0 a nice little dribble goal there and we continue on as a ED on the ball going past the defender cross it in with the Rabona it finds nobody, but we'll pick it up with Ensonzi there, and he will try out a shot, and once again, he blocks it off, but he'll pass it straight to Alex, a nice uh, elastical pass to the defender, a very strong left foot shot, but it didn't go to the far corner as I wanted, and it was straight on the keeper instead, but uh, we're still going to get that second goal, finding constant here, and a lovely chip into the far corner to make it 2-0, and into the second half, I put a bit of pressure on him, and I go to slide tackle, pick up the ball, I'll cross it in, and get a bicycle kick in with Alex and it goes in over the line to make it 3-0 and after that my opponent he had enough he decided to rage quit and then we get our first three points in the division and we are now sitting on four points and uh, yeah we're pretty much ready to play another game which went back to our Premier League defense and uh, got ready for playing our third game in Division 7 there. We put Wellington on the top as well and got Ronaldinho in instead of Tardelli and then we went on into the game and we come up against a very strong Premier League side here. Suarez, Rooney, Casola, Eto, Toure, just overall very good players in the squad and he makes it 1-0 off a header there. Bad defending from my side and uh, I will however get back with Alex a few minutes later with the left foot there. 1-1 it is and I was trying to get that a 2-1 goal as well, uh, Ben Arthur trying out a shot there, but it is saved, and then it's Ronaldinho breaking through, going past the defender, I thought I was going to be able to go with a power shot into the bottom corner, but Lurie, he will save it, and instead, in the 72nd minute, he will run down the ring, I tried to get into the box and cover up the header, but I couldn't get there in time, and he makes it a 2-1, I tried to break through with Ronaldinho here, but a terrible pass from the playmaker there, who usually is spot on with the passes, it looked almost like a through ball there, but it was meant to be a pass and it went straight to the keep unfortunately and I lose the game the second loss of the series a little bit frustrating I felt it should at least have ended as a draw but that's how it is and then we went back to go back to the Serie A uh, Serie A defense and uh, we were also going to improve our side a little bit because I felt well I had a few coins and despite not being able to pick up Hernanes yet I could pick up Muntari he does not give everyone the perfect chemistry but he he will 
make the chemistry a little bit better in the squad. Uh, so we'll put him into the side there. We get 95 chemistry and then we're ready to head on into another game. And we come up against a Bundesliga side here. Uh, where Aubameyang is one of the players I always hate coming up against. But uh, it was me creating the chances here in the middle of uh, the first half. Because in the start of the half he was sitting on most of the play. But after that... For some reason, it was me all over the place. He had the first 30 minutes, and after that, I was creating the chances. I make it 1 0 here with Ronaldinho with a long distance effort, and a few minutes later, we find Pato a stop and turn to go past the defender, and we'll make it 2 0 with an outside foot shot there. So, looking quite good, and we'll continue into the second half, hunting that a third goal. Pato on the ball, he'll pass it out on the wing to Niang, a nice little uh, skill move there to go past the defender, find a completely open Pato, and we'll make it 3 0. And Yang he's one of the players which I really do enjoy playing with. For only 400 coins he is extremely good. Of course I used a few coins converting him but He's a really fun player to play with. Nice little skill run from him here, but unfortunately he hits the bar. Could have been a pretty sick goal, but we'll pick the ball up because he cannot clear it away properly. You'll pass it to Ronaldinho. He'll flick it up and over his head, pass to the defender. We try out the volley, but it goes just wide. And uh, yeah, we're still creating those chances, going for that fourth goal. Here's Tadeli on the ball. He'll cross it in with the Rabona. Unfortunately, he blocks off the shot, but we'll pick the ball up once again. Flick up into there, and yeah, with a little bicycle kick there. Uh, but uh, way too ambitious, it's go it goes way wide, but Niang on the ball once again, he goes past the defender here, out on the wing, and you'll find a partner who will complete his hat-trick, and we'll make it a 4-0 there, so uh, yeah, very good game, we win by 4 goals, and that uh, will be the end of the episode, guys, I hope you did enjoy it, and apart from that, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas, I hope you have a good Christmas with your family, get what you wished for, and all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, I'll be celebrating Christmas with my family as well, so... There will be no episode out tomorrow, but we'll be back on the 26th, and that is pretty much all. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later.